Good morning. Good morning. I am Cardinal Dr. Elizabeth Samantha Rothschild Judge. And I'm just doing a recent update. Got my capital accounts done. My capital disclosures put up. Does anybody understand what that entails? That is a lot of work. I did a lot of work to get to that part. Really? Let's see. Yeah, I did. I did a lot of work to get to that part. And really, I am so glad. So I'm just at um, <laughs> assigning monies um, to uh, my two main capital accounts, top two top tier accounts and um, you know the word of God says uh, render to Caesar what is Caesar's according to Jesus Christ and render to God what is God's so I just broke them down easily and you would not believe how much that one scripture helped me to recall all of the GAAP that is applicable to that <laughs> you know um, so it just broke down with the, the stuff that I'm doing for the ministry over here and stuff for the government out of this account. And hey, voila, there we go. So now I can really get down to it. And I awakened this morning, which is Friday, September 6th, 2024, the year of our Lord. I awakened this morning um, with it on my mind that now that I have those accounts set up there, I am officially an angel investor. Pardon the darkness. It's like, um, let me see what time it is. 5.31. 5.31 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. Early to bed, early to wise, healthy, wealthy, and wise, and getting the worm. All of that good stuff. But yes, I realize that now I myself am an angel investor. And I could make contributions really all day long with all those trillions I have accounted. <laughs> so, um, just doing that little update. But that was exhausting. Y'all would not believe. I'm like, oh God, to get to that point, to get to the um, the accounting portion where there's my capital disclosure you know so I'm excited about that and if this update is dull and boring to anyone trust me you have no idea what capital disclosure entails because that's a very exciting thing and when I was working on it I was taking my naps you know because it's exhausting work I was taking naps and sleeping moderately five hours a day during that whole time and then I would get in the bed and be exhausted at night and sleep all night really so I'm excited about that got some things going on with my ministry and this is a very exciting time you know <laughs> okay so that's my update for today and um, as soon as I have any more general news, I'll be sure to get on and put that out there. Okay, everybody have a great day.